Wow. Now this woman has a, a long career in education. She spoke to the would-be bandit like a child. Eventually he did give up and walk away. Despite her actions, she does not encourage others to do the same. Police also advise you typically to comply with whatever it is these people want, the criminal wants to prevent escalation. Though uh, not backing down apparently worked for her in this situation. Oh my goodness, wow. Gone are the days of having older uh, neighbors that sat on the porch all day and watched and waved you on when you got home from work. And I think in some ways, trying to think about how to preserve that intergenerational neighborhood is so valuable. We've lost so much of that in the city with massive displacement. Uh, and so I think, you know, just having more people around that know each other and that support each other would be uh, really helpful. The other thing she said she hopes people take away is situal, a situational awareness. Iris told me that one of the hardest things for her to watch was seeing herself on that video, not paying attention as she was rummaging through that bag. D.C. police say carjackings have gone up dramatically since the pandemic began. In 2019, there were 142 carjackings reported compared to last year when 426 carjackings were reported. And police say the vast majority of carjackings are being committed by juvenile. Washington Commanders running back Brian Robinson in stable condition after he was shot multiple times in what police say was likely a robbery and carjacking attempt. D.C. police this morning looking for two juveniles, two juvenile males in connection with that shooting. To us, there is no greater duty than reporting the truth and fighting back against the corrupt corporate news narratives that are poisoning our country. For us to continue to be the largest independent creator of no nonsense, objective, conservative news content on the web, we need your help. The help of you and patriots exactly like you. We can do this.